Hi, I'm planning to travel Surigao, Mindanao. I have read many histories about danger in Mindanao, Abu Sayyaf kidnapping, etc. against foreigners. But I don't want to be paranoid about that. Must I change my travel plans? Where to go and not to go? I am a solo traveler. Is it safe? Guys, guys, relax, set back, and let's talk about Mindanao. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for those who subscribe me and for those of you who is new in my channel, my name is Jen, 28 years old, a new aspiring blogger of Mindanao. Mindanao is known as the land of promise because of its biodiversity and the natural resources. The land holds an incredible wealth of nature but also holds a dark moments of truth. As observed, every traveler who wants to explore Mindanao would ask about safety, and Mindanao cannot hide the truth from them. And here's the truth. Guys, what you heard regarding the danger in Mindanao is quite true. But of course, not all the time. Mindanao is a big island with many provinces, and Davao is one of its friendly provinces. Second, the risk in traveling to Mindanao is actually a paranoia created by media. It has 22 provinces, consists of 6 administrative regions, 22 provinces and 30 cities, but 27 provinces and 33 cities if associated islands are included. If you are traveling Surigao, you are far from danger. Of course, you have to be careful in traveling. Usually, in any other country we travel, we are always at risk because we are foreign to that country. Especially, we can't speak their language all the time. I suggest that you stay in the city like Davao, Cagayan de Oro, Iligan, General Santos, Camigan Island. Whenever you travel to town, Make sure to see the tourism officer so they would know your whereabouts. Third, the only dangerous part is the arm region, the western end of the island, like Sulu, Basilan, and a few rebel camps scattered around Maguindanao, Lanao, and Cotabato. All the rest is safe. Fourth is planning to go surfing. Anyway, despite the travel advisories from foreign countries to stay away from the entire Mindanao region, Surigao, northern and eastern part of it, is both safe to local and tourists. Well, they still have that provincial atmosphere compared to chaotic and polluted Metro Manila. Fifth, the only thing that you should be really concerned of is the weather. Surigao is constantly visited by a typhoon since it faces the Pacific Ocean. But if you go here during Philippine summer like March, April, May, like this time, I tell you if there was no COVID thing, it's the perfect time and it won't be a problem. Now, where is safe and where is dangerous in Mindanao? Showing you a map of the Philippines, you will see that the location in red are areas that could be considered dangerous. According to my friends in America, the United States government has a website that you can check for travel advisories before coming to the Philippines. And I am going to attach the link on the description section below in this video. The government currently has only one location in Mindanao. You should not travel to Marawi City. This is because of the terrorist groups who are still fighting the Philippine security forces. I would also caution you to not go to southern province of Zamboanga, although it is not listed as a do not travel location for Americans, Zamboanga has been previously 
listed because of kidnapping and terrorist activity. The main problem are in Zamboanga, where there is kidnapping, bombings, somewhat regularly. This is actually the Philippines' sixth largest city based in southwestern Mindanao. Mindanao is known being the second largest island next to Luzon and has been dubbed by the countries being the land of promise because of its promising natural resources. It is known worldwide for being home to the surf capital of the Philippines, a famous highly urbanized city, and jaw-dropping beaches. The northeastern areas such as Rigal del Norte and even Davao are becoming more visited by the tourists and are considered to be safe and the general rule is to stay east. And guys, after all, where is the adventure if you always stay in the green zone? <laughs> Personally, to thank all those people, amazing people who subscribe my channel, I really really do appreciate it. And of course, without Gio for plugging my channel on his channel, I would like to personally thank you. I really do appreciate it. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question or any opinion about this video. Guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Your Little Pinai, and please support my next video because I'm working on it. And thank you, thank you so much. Please keep safe always. Have a nice day and God bless.